So if you consider this example that you're given, uh, it's just a typical question that you might be given. Uh, when the angles are included, calculating or working with amateur reactions. So they were given uh, on this question, let us consider a 50 kilowatt, uh, 40 volts, 500, uh, 400 volts actually. So the moment that you're given, it's a 50 kilowatt. A 50 kilowatt. That is the power output. Whenever you're given this, a 50 power, the power that you'll be given there, it represents the power output. So you're given the power output, the voltage of 400 volts, six pole series generator. So working with the series condition, our P is gonna be given, which is the pair pole six over two, which is three. That's a series generator. You've got a wave wound that is C is equal to two with 780. Six conductors, the number of conductors 786. If the brushes are shifted forward through eight degrees, and there is an E that you're given, which is electrical. So theta is equal to eight electrical degrees. Sometimes they might give you a mechanical angle where you have to convert that to the electrical degrees. We have to convert that to electrical. But in this case, you are working with the theta being an electrical theta in electrical degrees. So you have to be careful with that part. So anyways, from the geometric neutral axis, calculate the following 5.1, the demagnetizing ampere 10 per pole. Uh, we have got these formulas, I mean, this formula actually from our formula sheet. This is the only formula about uh, the number of ampere 10 or talking about the amateur reaction. We do not have anything considered later on that we can take into consideration. So what is it that we are going to need from this formula? We are going to make adjustments on this formula that you're given there. To calculate the demagnetizing, all right, the formula states that this is 5.1. So there we need to calculate uh, the demagnetizing, all right? So I'm just gonna write in short the demagnetizing uh, ampere 10 per watt per pole. All right, so the demagnetizing ampere 10 per pole now it is going to be given by the formula one over two times you're going to have your amateur current over c times this is it over two p this is what you are supposed to have as just the the ampere 10 per, per pole the total but because of this now the moment you talk about the demagnetize you are going to multiply by four theta over 360 degrees. And this must be in electrical degrees, theta in electrical degrees. So already this is an electrical degrees. So that is the condition that you are given. And remember in a series connection, because we do not have uh, the amateur current here, remember in a series connection uh, of a generator, because I told this is a series, uh, the amateur current is equal to the load current. So the load current can be calculated because we are given the power output, knowing that it's a voltage times the load current. So you're going to divide by the voltage, voltage. That means your load current will be equal to P out over V. So the output power 50 kilowatt, that's 50 times 10 to the exponent of three, everything over what? So they are going to divide by the voltage of 400. So that's we have got the load current, which is representing uh, the amateur current in that case. So the amateur current is 125 amps. So with the amateur current, we can calculate uh, this because that is the only missing part of our formula. So that's one over two times the amateur current, which is 125 over C. That is two times Z, the conductors. 
786 over 2 times P, our pair poles, remember, that is 3 times 4 times theta. Uh, the, in electrical degrees, that is 4 times your theta, that is 8 degrees, everything over 360 degrees. So with this, we are going to obtain uh, the demagnetizing ampere 10 per part. And that was going to be 363.889 ampere 10 uh, that is taken per watt per part. Just like that, just like that. So the extension that you have from the formula in your formula sheet is the four theta over 360. So this is what you need to know when dealing with a demagnetizing. What about a cross magnetizing? Because on the other part there, we need a cross magnetizing. All right, so it follows that. Uh, so that is 4.2 for a cross magnetizing. So I'm just going to write in short, cross-magnetizing ampere 10 per pole. The part of the formula calculating the ampere 10 per pole is not going to change. We are going to have that as it is from the first place. 1 over 2 times the armature current over C times Z over. This is what you have on your formula sheet. We are going to extend this time 1 minus four theta over 360 degrees. So this one, it was just four theta over 360. But on cross magnetizing, guys, it's just one minus, just like that, one minus. I just hope you're, you're not gonna forget this. Cross magnetizing is the one with one minus. With this, guys, we are done. So that's one over two times the amateur current. Already, we calculated this. We are not going to recalculate. We have uh, already. Uh, calculated this, that is 125 over C. Uh, everything is just going to remain as it is. Remember your C there, it was 2 times your Z. Remember it was 786 over 2 times P, which is 3 uh, times 1 minus this part of 4 theta over is the same as this one, 4 theta, but just there's 1 minus. So it is going to be 4 times 8 degrees over 360 degrees, just like that. Just like that. So on your calculator, there is no there is no degree that you just put eight over three sixty. Don't consider to say it. this is a, a presentation. But on your calculator, you're just not gonna put anything. So this was going to give us three thousand seven hundred twenty nine point eight six one. Uh, that is ampere ten per watt per part. So that is for the cross magnetizing. So if the question was just to calculate the total. What were you going to do for the total? For the total, that is where you use the formula as it is from your formula sheet, no adjustments. So this will be the total ampere, uh, the amateur ampere 10, which is the total ampere tens per watt per pole. You take as it is, but when it is a demagnetizing, remember you multiply by four theta over 360 degrees. When it is of a cross, magnetizing you multiply by one minus four theta over 360 degrees this is what you just need to extend on your formula sheet they are not going to give you all the formulas you need to also extend your formulas from what you're given uh, add some flesh that is how you answer these typical questions so we shall have more questions to come and also other topics to be considered still from Maison african motives till we meet again